See, love means nothing without action. Right? So when you got to love God, guess what? There has to be some action behind it. Because guess what? We always profess that we love him with our lips. You see that in church every Sunday. But guess what? They won't do a damn thing that you tell them. We gotta keep the 10, right? Yeah. But there's actually 613. Now the reason why we're in these conditions is because we didn't keep God's law. Yeah. Right. So I'm just give me uh oh, first Timothy 2 now. Let me show you something. See, the one thing about the most high God, he gave us these laws for a reason. It was for us to govern ourselves, you know, how we're supposed to treat one another, how we're supposed to love God, how we're supposed to raise our children. So we got dietary laws, civil laws, moral laws, the things we understand. Moral laws. So check this out. First Timothy chapter two and verse nine. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. So a woman should uh, adorn herself in modest apparel. Yeah. Now the one thing that I know amongst our people, especially amongst our women, is we say that God won't judge us based on our appearance. You understand? But God will put you to death based on his appearance. Go back to Deuteronomy twenty twenty five. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Uh -huh. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Read. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Do you know what an abomination is? Like, like the dirt on your shoe. Abomination is something God hates. Yeah. You can't get into the kingdom committing an abomination. Okay. Now. I'm gonna show you something that God created for men. Is that that number? Yes, sir. Exodus chapter 28 and verse 42. Read. And thou shalt make them linen breeches. What's another word for breeches? I guess can. Right. To cover their nakedness. From the loins even unto the thighs they shall reach. Uh -huh. And they shall be upon Aaron and upon his sons. They were made for who? Aaron and upon his sons. So would you consider that man? Yeah. All right. So, so. But can we apply what's going on in today's? Because you wouldn't wear these leggings. No, no, well, keep in mind, those right there, leggings for were, women. Yes. Understand something. Leggings were underwear. It was made to wear under a dress. And guess what the white woman did? She got filthy, nasty, and our when our men, our women followed. But if up, I'm still trying to. Thing. Go, because go back to first Timothy okay. two and nine. I understand what you're saying. You're trying to cover yourself up. Remember what God commanded you. First Timothy chapter two and verse nine. Uh -huh. In like manner also that the women adorn themselves in modest apparel. A modest apparel. So guess what? If you had that up under your, your dress, that would be modest apparel. Wearing it without a dress, that would be called the attire of a heart. You understand? Mm -hmm. And so. Understand you cannot get into the kingdom based on that. As a matter of fact, remember I told you that God was giving Zephaniah one. Zephaniah chapter one and verse eight. And it shall come to pass uh -huh. in the day of the Lord's sacrifice right. that I will punish the princes uh -huh. and the king's children and all such as are clothed with strange apparel. So when he said punish, he means put to death. Those that wear strange apparel. So all our women have to wear pants. Dressing the models, guess what? They're gonna get put to death. So that's the reason why God sent his prophets out in these last days. Because why? He don't want our people to die. Think about it. Would you really want to miss out on the kingdom based off no. of the fact of some clothing? No. Right, right. So you do you love God? Yeah. So imagine how do you love God? How do I love God? I mean, can you call him and say, hey, I love you? Yeah, in a sense. In a sense, let me ask you, would he hear you? If you were in sin. Yeah, because we've been in sin this whole time. Watch this. John chapter 9 and verse 31. Were you seeking him though? You were seeking God, yeah, right? I thought I was seeking him. Right, guess what? He said you're seeking should find. Guess what? He sent his prophets out to you. And guess what? His prophets are to give you what? Warning from him. Read. John chapter 9 and verse 31. Uh-huh. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. Uh-huh. But if any man be a worshiper of God Read. and doeth his will, him he heareth. That's who the most I hear. He's going to hear your prayers once you do the will of God. So what is the will of God? Do Psalm 49. Do you know? 
Psalms chapter 40 and verse 8. I delight to do thy will, uh -huh. O my God. Yea, thy law is within my heart. The law is what? Thy law is within my heart. So the will of God would be what? Keeping God's law. Yeah. So to the best of your ability. Right, right. So guess what? We still can you wear a dress? At the end of the day. Oh, but, but can you wear a dress? No, but I mean I have to go to work, so that's why right, I have so, to wear pants. Alright, say you put on your pants real quick. Because trust me, hey, they'll let you wear a dress up. Right. That's a job if you ask me ask. See a lot of us not work. Very likely none of us don't work. We know that hey, if you if a woman go and say, hey, according to my religious beliefs, I got I, I need to wear a dress. They'll let you wear a dress. Religious just say if the just say if the enemy don't want you to wear one. When you get out, what should you do? Continue wearing pants or put on the dress? When I get out, I'm gonna get in my pajamas. I'm saying, but yeah, look, I would go home and I guess put on the right. dress. Right, you should seek another job to be honest. Because why? You should seek the kingdom first. Above all, right? Yeah. Because that's what you want. You say you love God. Yeah. So this is, let's, let's find out how you actually show God love. Because guess what? Have you ever had, you got a boyfriend? Or ever had one? Yeah, I've had one. You had one, right? So y'all not together no more. Yeah. Did he tell you you love him? Yeah, he told you that. We all be lying. But we all told many women. I told many women I love them. And you know why? I have no actions behind it. To love means nothing without an action, right? So when you got to love God, guess what? There has to be some action behind it. Because guess what? We always profess that we love Him with our lips. You see that in church every Sunday. But guess what? They won't do a damn thing they be telling them. Because they love themselves more. They don't have no love for God. Because if they did, they would keep His commandments. Right. First John chapter 5 and verse 3. Uh -huh. For this is the love of God. Read. That we keep his commandments. That we do what? That we keep his commandments. Uh huh. And his commandments are not grievous. They're not what? Are not grievous. It shouldn't grieve you to swear Because you know what that shows? Modesty. You know, you believe you're a prince of God? Well, guess what? You never seen a prince of God? Exactly. See, we, we love to say, we, hey, we kings, we queens, you know, the truth is, the women of Israel were princes. And guess what? To be a prince, you got to dress like one. You got to become one. You got to act like one. You know what I'm saying? Guess what? Now, Before women, I blow myself into that, I'd have to make sure that I'm doing right by him. So I don't want to go do around right walking by. like I am, but not doing right. Now, how do you do right? So, what is the wages of sin? Well, I'm gonna show you the wages of sin. Because do you know what sin is? Do you know what sin is? Um, I think sin is not following the commandments. Right, it's not following the commandments. That's what I'm gonna tell you. First John chapter three and verse four. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. Whoever commits sin transgresses God's law, breaks God's law. Read for sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is breaking God's law. Now, if we're gonna break God's law, there got to be repercussions for breaking God's law. Give me that, Romans 6. Romans chapter six and verse 23. For the wages of sin is death. The payment for sin is what? It's death. So guess what? We don't wanna die in our sin, I do. Because if you're in the midst of your sin, when Christ returns, guess what? It puts you to death. You know what I'm saying? Because we didn't have the love enough to repent from our sin. So is it hard to keep God's laws? But remember, he said my laws are what? Not no, grievous. It's not hard, but the journey is hard. Well, keep in mind. Is. Guess what? Give me uh, Zephaniah two and one. The one thing about um, the journey being hard, it's hard when you're alone. It's hard when you're by yourself. But God commanded you to do something else. Question. Zephaniah chapter two and verse one. Gather yourselves together. Uh huh. Yea, gather together, O nation not desired. He said, gather them together with your 12 tribes who are keeping God's laws. So, guess what? There's other sisters just like yourself. And guess what? Them sisters are going to build you up. You got your big brothers that will build you up. And guess what? The one thing that you're going to realize is when you wait, when you awoke, know that you're an Israelite. What does that mean for the rest of the people who don't know? Seems strange. No, they were walking dead. Because remember, when you keep God's law, it's coming to life. Yeah. But and those, those around you are just like, yeah, they're walking dead. Yeah, they're walking dead, right? 
And so guess what? It doesn't matter what the walking dead think of you. Doesn't matter. See, it ain't that hard. It's only hard when we still trying to be part of the world. We gotta come out that world. We gotta come out of the things that the Most High say is evil. You understand? And so guess what? Imagine out of all the people on this earth, that's in the city. The Most High chose you. He said, I want you to become a princess of, of Israel. I want you to help teach other sisters. That's, that's your duty. Give me that title. That's your duty. He wants you to teach other sisters. You know what I'm saying? To be the example. Because how are our women dressing nowadays? Like hoes? Is they going from man to man to man? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're doing harder. So how would they ever know to change if we don't go out and be the example to change? You understand? Three. Titus chapter 2 and verse 3. The aged woman likewise that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, uh -huh. not false accusers, uh -huh. not given to much wine, uh -huh. teachers of good things. You know what's good? He said that the aged woman, keep in mind, you're a young woman, but he said that the aged woman, be a teacher of good things. What would be good? Chapter 119 and verse 142. Uh -huh. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Uh -huh. And thy law is the truth. The what? Thy law is the truth. So guess what? When you teach them the truth, you gotta teach them what? The, the law. Commandments. Right. The law is the commandments. Because why? That's your wisdom. Do our people got wisdom right now? No, we don't. No. We just we, hey, look at our society. Our society show that we uh, don't have wisdom. You understand? <laughs> and think about it. Our, hey, our people at our age, we failed the young people. We didn't come out and teach them what's right, what's wrong. They failed it. That's why y'all don't know. Give me that Deuteronomy 6 on that. Because guess what? God gave us these laws for a reason. So we can have wisdom. Think about that. You see the sis right there? Now, that sis grew up in my era. And guess what my era was doing? Buck Wilder in the club. Now, guess what? The new generation doing what? Following that same example. They buck wild in the club. Except for they take it to the screen now. They way worse than we ever was. So now, I ain't looking at them like they crazy. But guess what? <laughs> Our mothers and them used to look at us like we was crazy. Each generation get worse and worse. Right. Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 1. Now these are the commandments, the statutes, and the judgments which the Lord your God commanded to teach you, uh -huh. that ye might do them in the land where ye go to possess it. So guess what? I'm just bringing out a verse of what you just said. I'm showing you Bible prophecy. It's what came out your mouth. You're speaking wisdom and knowledge. As you said, we're supposed to teach the truth. You said, so I taught you God's statutes and commandments. I'm trying to verse 7. Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 7. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house. So you're supposed to teach these laws to your children. So when you sit in the house, guess what? You should be going over these laws. Read. And when thou walkest by the way. So when you out and about, and you were in town, guess what? I can point to see how that, see how that sister right there breaking that law, see how that brother breaking that law. You know what I'm saying? These are the reasons why we're supposed to keep these laws. So we're supposed to be royalty. You understand? We're supposed to be holy to the most high God. And look how far we fell. See, once you, your eyes are awakened, you can see the condition of our people. And we are a destroyed people right now. So guess what? We must come out of these conditions. We must repent and turn away from our sins. You know what repentance is? Yeah, what you just said. Turning away from our sins. Turn away from our sins. So let me ask you, are you willing to turn away from our sins? I'm trying to day by day. Hey, all praises, all praises. You know, we have a school in Columbus that we congregate every Saturday. And one thing that when you do come into the truth, guess what? You have to congregate. Give me that Hebrews chapter 2 and 25. I'm going to show you. We we got to come together. Because remember, you said you by yourself is a hard journey. 
But guess what? How can you learn if you back home at home by yourself? Think about it. You've been here this whole life. You didn't know these laws to keep. You didn't know it was 613. You've been walking around saying, hey, it's just 10 commandments. I ain't killing nobody. I ain't shooting nobody. I'm good. Right? That, I know that's what you say. I was saying the same thing. I'm like, hey, 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 I'm good. I, I, I believe in God. I love God. But you know what? He was going to put me to death. Just like he was going to put you to death if you hadn't came up here and said, hey, right. these brothers told me about hands. I didn't know I could die. I couldn't get into the kingdom based off of that. Let me show you something about true love. Hold that. Give me your face uh, like I'm going to show you what true love. See, certain, certain people can tell you things. doesn't mean they're qualified to teach. Because they got to get their house in order first before they can go out here and teach. That goes for anybody. Right, right. Have false prophets, right. right, you have false prophets. And what makes somebody be a false prophet? How about not teaching the law? I mean, they was teaching the law. They talking about the law, but I mean, they just get to the truth Yeah, so they tell you they they, they are baby. So can I, they, if they just got the truth, they said they babies, right? Yeah. So they're not really capable of teaching properly. But they can let me know. Right, right. But they can all get to know so much. Yeah. Watch it. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Uh -huh. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. So God said, don't hate your brother in your heart, right? Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. You know what rebuke means? Yeah. What is well, rebuke? I don't, I don't know how to explain. Rebuke would be just correct. You know, correct, sharp, correct. Okay. Right, say rebuke your neighbor, read. And not suffer sin upon them. So guess what? If I see my sister in sin, I'm supposed to correct her so she don't what? Die. You understand? That's why we got to keep this law when we say to congregate. Because you got to come in and learn. Read. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 25. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is. And that's what happens. A lot of times our people, our people be like, yeah, I know I'm Israel. And they sit around and watch videos at home. <coughs> and the reason why they do that is because you know why? They don't want to really change. They don't want to be held accountable. You understand? But guess what? So if I wasn't congregating, I might be still at home smoking cigarettes. Because I used to know about the truth when I used to be at home smoking cigarettes. But once I knew I started congregating, hey, I, I couldn't be around like you know, I couldn't stand that sin with right. my brothers. You understand? And so guess what? They helped build you up. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how we men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.